Well, bottom line is that fire is kind of in a situation. It's between an old roof and a new roof. So that is obviously causing an issue for firefighters. But believe you me, they tell me they're going to stay on the scene until this fire is out. A ceiling has collapsed. The house is not livable, as well as an overhang near the pool. One other thing they had to deal with when they first got on the scene is the water supply. It, they had a hard time opening the hydrants. I saw smoke and I my phone froze up. Tony Gaddy saw thick black smoke coming from her neighbor's house on Dirksen Drive in DeBerry, where firefighters continue to battle flare-ups. The fire is not out yet. Fire officials tell West 2 News the fire is located between a tar and gravel roof and then a metal roof that was put on top of it. I called Dick and I said, Dick, is everything okay? And he said, he must have looked outside and he said, oh my God, my, my garage is on fire. So I hung up with him. I didn't say another word. I just called 911 at that point. Hours after the initial call came down, a stream of firefighters remain on the scene. My call to him was at 443. What's your concern now? Flare ups in the middle of the night. Her neighbor Dick spoke with West 2 News, but did not want to go on camera. He was the only one in the house at the time of the blaze, and he's thankful to his neighbor who didn't give up trying to reach him. It rang four times. I'm going, okay, if it doesn't, if he doesn't pick up on the next ring, I'm calling the cell phone. Well, he picked up, and he was just getting ready. He had just mowed the lawn, getting ready to take a shower, and, and then looked out the door. He had a lot of antique cars. That he lost. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. I'm just scared of flare-ups in the middle of the night. Well, fire officials say you don't have to worry about that. They're going to be here all night. As many as 45 firefighters were here battling this fire. And get this, earlier today, many of them were training for a live burn. Then they rushed over here to a real one. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Volusia County for West 2 News.